kind of iconic. Look at how cute. I mean, I think I can just clean her up a little bit. Hey guys, what is up? So it is currently 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm just going to go get COVID tested for Riverdale and I'm just heading out now. I have like a couple pit stops that I want to make on the way back. There's just like a bunch of random things that I just want to go inquire about and I'm going to stop at my sister's house because she lives in like the area that I'm getting tested at. So I'm going to go stop there and I'm just going to bring you guys along for the venture. It's literally like pouring rain right now. It's so gloomy outside. Like I woke up in it. I just wanted to stay in bed all day. Like it's one of those type of days. So not feeling extremely motivated today, but that's okay. We all get those days, especially when it's pouring freaking rain. What can you do about it? Okay, I'm gonna leave now, but I'll be taking you guys along, so. Hey guys, so I just got COVID tested and I picked up some Starbucks for me and Brittany because Brittany is sick with vertigo. I don't explain what vertigo is. So I'm doing a lot better. I it's not contagious by the way, so I'm not no. here trying to get something, don't worry. I'm a lot better. I could actually move without mm -hmm. falling over. I don't know the proper term, but it's like an inner ear issue. And I woke up on Friday morning. You know when you get up too fast and you get like a huge head rush? Well, that's kind of what I felt like lying in bed. All I did was turn over when my alarm went off and like the room was spinning, but a head rush times a million. That sounds horrible. It was really bad and I get up to the bathroom and I straight up fell into the wall because I lost my balance because <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, but that's a little funny. That's horrible. It's funny, but that's a it's funny, funny. but it, it messes up your balance, something to do with the inner ear. Went to the bathroom and just immediately started puking because I was so dizzy. The room was spinning so much that I got so nauseous. So I was like, screw this, I'm not going into work today so i'm a lot better i could finally move around without that happening but it's more like if i move too fast in a certain direction i just get a massive head rush it's better i'm just not allowed to drive though and anyways we got starbucks i got a pumpkin cream cold brew and the guy taking my order poor thing was in training and i had to repeat it like you have to get the manager in you have to get like like it's fine like he was in training it just sucks when you're paying like six dollars for a drink and then they like yeah mess it up it's good though thank you you're welcome I'm not cheers Okay. Pumpkin cream cold brew and I got the foam with oat milk instead of cream and I also got um, a okay. uh, quinoa bean wrap Anyways, so we're just gonna chill and then I have a couple errands to run afterwards. I'm gonna go <laughs> This is where I get my birthing from. I have a couple errands from. I'm just gonna chill here with Brittany for a bit because my COVID test was like five, 10 minutes away from our house. And we live like a good half hour away from each other. So while I'm in the area, thought I'd stop by and say hi since she's not like at work. I noticed her cute ass fall decorations and I'm gonna be decorating my room for fall today. This is inspiring me. She's got cute candles. Okay guys, so I just left Bernie's house and now I'm at Winners. So I'm gonna go in and honestly just browse, but I do have, I just have like a random acrylic shelf that I wanna get for my bathroom just to put it up above so I can lay more skincare products on it. So I'm gonna see if they have that cause there's like a home sense attached to it. So I'm gonna see if they have that. And then I also wanna get a pumpkin fall something candle because even though my mom doesn't let me light candles in my room, I still want it to light when she's not home. Like, sorry mom, if you're watching this. I'm literally obsessed with my super puff mask. It is the comfiest and just the most warmest thing ever. I love it so much. I literally am obsessed with Winners and Home Sense. Like, I just know I'm just gonna feel good vibes once I go in there, so I'm excited. Okay, so I just went into Winners and I went into Home Sense and I went into the store beside and they didn't have literally anything. Like, I just remember that I think I have a fall candle at home, like put away in storage. So I think I'm just gonna use that. And then the acrylic shelf, I'm here at Walmart. I'm gonna see what they have. If they have anything cute for fall that I wanna snag, I'm gonna get it. So I'm just gonna browse around in Walmart. I also need to get a couple of like random things. So I know Walmart will have at least something, but, but we are just going to go into Walmart right now. have like enough pumpkin so i don't need to get any pumpkins i honestly forget what i have oh my god wait this would be so cute to put my jewelry on that's 
literally adorable. Guys, look at how cute this little mat for our bathroom. I think I'm gonna put it in our bathroom. This is the cutest thing literally ever. I just got out of Walmart. I literally got the cutest little rug thing for the bathroom. Like, I think I showed you guys, but it's gonna be so freaking cute. And I also just got like a little pumpkin dish. I didn't really get much to show you guys when I get home, but I didn't get much because I already have like fall decor at home that like I'm gonna reuse and because there's no point in me spending more money on shit that I don't need. So that's the verdict. And now we're going home. Finally, I feel like I've been out for so freaking long. I'm actually getting really hot. I think it's a super puff mask. It's actually so warm. Let's go. I'll see you guys at home. Y'all, this is the annual decorating my room for fall video. Like this is kind of iconic. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Walmart because there's some exciting, really cute things in here. What are they doing? She looks so pretty right now. I'm obsessed with her. Like it's on another level of like literal obsession. So I definitely showed this already, but this is the rug that I'm gonna put in my bathroom. So my bathroom is gonna be a little bit fallified as well. Or I guess this is like more Halloween, but I like that too. And then I just got like, I needed a new soap because I broke my glass soap dispenser in my bathroom. It shattered, so I don't have one. So I just bought this cute seasonal soap and it has pumpkins and mittens and it's just fall vibes. So got that. I got this cute ass like pumpkin dish and my vision for this is maybe even just to like put it, put it on my night table or just put it like on display somewhere and then add like my everyday jewelry pieces into it it was only like five dollars so and then i got this mug it says hello fall and this was only three dollars how could you pass that up i realized i don't have a fall mug to like drink my freaking teas in and my coffee so this is just gonna set the vibe mugs make me excited like when i have like a seasonal mug i'm like wow like i'm so excited to drink this now because of the mug i got shavers which is not important to this video so that's my little Wal walmart haul and then i'm what i'm gonna do is i have these drawers underneath my bed which i have all my like shit stored in I'm such in the fall vibe right now. This time of year is so great because you get fall, you get Halloween to look forward to, and right after, you get Christmas to look forward to. So the vibes are immaculate. I can't even explain it. It's just the feeling. Anyways, so let's search this drawer. So much of this is just Christmas stuff. Like my tree is under here. Oh my God, I can't wait to put that up. Like I'm already getting excited for Christmas. The store literally had Christmas decorations as well, and I was like... I'm not mad about it. I think I'm gonna go on the other side and see if I can find it there because I was just there's just like Christmas stuff down there right now. I really hope I find the candle too. Okay, I opened the drawer on the other side of my bed and we freaking hit the jackpot. Here's the bag of shit that I bought last year. I'm probably not gonna put it all up just because I want to do more of a minimal look this year. Like I don't want to go too ham because I don't want things to look too cluttered. I hate when that happens. Okay, so I was just searching and I can't find like my bigger pumpkins that I use every year. My house renovated and I had them in a bag and then I think that bag might have got thrown out so I'm not sure but I do have some stuff which is fine so we'll make it work so I'm excited because I did find the fall candle that I remembered that I had I mean I think I can just clean her up a little bit and then we'll be good and I do have like a couple of these black pumpkins and I have some garlands so we'll make it work I wasn't gonna go full out anyways so we'll see what we can do okay so I think I'm gonna start off with my picture frames and I know I'm so bipolar about what I put about them because I literally change it like every single day because I get bored of shit so easily but so in these picture frames here what i think i'm gonna do so since the pictures are really colorful and i love the color it's just it doesn't necessarily go with like the fall vibe you know what i mean what i'm thinking of doing is putting i just found this literally like in our closet downstairs putting this brown paper over top of those photos so that i can just like change it up whenever i want to and then going like on pinterest or something and finding quotes and just kind of put one quote in the middle of each picture frame just so that it's like a neutral vibe and also so this is like a folly color you know what i mean i'm not gonna put like fall pictures in there just because i feel like that would be too much so i want it more minimal so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to find some quotes cut the quotes and just plop it on i have a vision in my head and it's really hard to like explain it so you will see okay so i found these two quotes i really resonate with these two and i really like the vibe of them I like the colors so we're gonna see how this looks honestly i have a vision in my head but it could turn out horrible so we'll see Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished the frames. Here's how they turned out. So I'm gonna explain this. When I put it up, it looked too plain. So then I decided to take an Expo marker, like an erasable marker, and draw on it. And I kind of like it because I can just doodle, write whatever I want. And honestly, I haven't found anything for that wall that I absolutely love yet. And I'm still on the hunt, but in the meanwhile, you know, that will do. And it really does give me fall vibes because of the brown. And it'll do for now while I'm on the hunt for something better to go on that wall because I honestly just still don't know what I want to put there. I think I want to replace the frames and I don't know, like I just want something really different and I have no idea what to do there yet. So until that idea comes to me, until I find something, this will do for this season because I think that, I don't know, it's just really simplistic and I like how I can doodle on it. That was a good idea by me. Now let's get into the real like decorating. So now that I got that situated, this corner of my room is too summery for me now. So what I think I'm going to do is just take this all out. Honestly, the vases are still like a vibe. Like the vases are still, oh my God, I just got the best idea. Holy shit, that just came to me out of nowhere. So I think I'm gonna take the flowers out. And then what if I like somehow put this in the vase? You know what I mean? And then potentially add these black pumpkins. Maybe not here, actually. Yeah, it's too much here. Not here. I honestly think that this is kind of a vibe. I don't know. I can't tell if I like it or if it looks ratchet. We'll decide later. We're just going to leave that there for now. Okay, guys. So now for my nightstand, I'm just going to put like the candle on here. And I think I'm just going to leave it open, honestly, because I already smelled this scent in my room because it's very strong. So I honestly don't even need to light it to smell it. Um, And that just looks cute like that. I like it better with like the lid off than like having that on because it looks more orange also i heard of this hack to clean the outsides of a candle but i need to go back someone said it in their vlog and i completely forgot what she said to do so i'm gonna go refer back to that vlog and we're gonna see okay so apparently if you take your candle where the black shit is i mean i don't have much black shit but it still kind of looks gross you just literally take paper towel i mean toilet paper or whatever you want and apparently it just wipes off which it actually is. Like, you don't even need any cleaner. I thought she had said, like, you need some specific thing. But you can just wipe it off. It looks like it's stained. So I feel like that's why you don't just think that you can, like, wipe it off. I mean, I feel like it's mostly coming off. But I feel like since, like, this candle has been sitting in my storage for, like, a year now, the stuff is really kind of, like, molded on. But look, it's actually, like, working. So if you guys have candles, now you know. You can literally just wipe it off. <laughs> Okay, honestly, I feel like this is as best, best as it's gonna get. It's not gonna be perfect, but this is like better than how it was. I got a whole bunch of black shit on here. That looks so cute. I'm really happy with that. I don't like the silver thing on top. I don't know why. It's not really, it doesn't really go. The audio was shit in that because I had my mic turned the other way when I was doing the other clips. So I'm so sorry about that. Like, honestly, that must, video must have sucked, but I can't redo it now because I already wiped the black shit off. So, oopsies. Okay, so now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the black pumpkins up top here, see if they look good. I mean, I think that looks kind of cute. I can't tell if this looks like shit. I think I like that. It's just really subtle. I don't know. It kind of adds a cute spice. So I'm just gonna leave them there. I'm literally obsessed. That's literally so cute. Oh my god, now every time I come to the washroom, it's like a little happy ghost. Okay, so that's basically what I'm gonna do to my room today. Tonight, I might light maybe a ca the candle, but it already smells in here like the candle, so it's giving off the good scent anyways. Um, but yeah, my room just feels fallified, like it's great. Also, I fallified my clothing rack a while ago, so it was already like fallified before this, but I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. 